You can say yes or no, man. Don't let your woman lead you, brother. Give me Romans 13 and 11 again. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to right. wake out of sleep. Hey, man, now it's time to wake out of sleep, man. You know, got a lot of niggas sleep right now, man. You got a brother, he sleep, man. He let his damn woman lead him, man. Right? It's time for the words of life. It's not time to be damn walking behind a damn woman like a damn rag dog. <laughs> God damn, you, you on a damn leash, man. Right. Hey, grow the hell up, man. God. Stop being led by these women, man. And you lead, so you lead, man. You stand up and be a man. Gird up your loins in these last days, man. Keep going. God. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now is salvation near, nearer than what you believe. And the last thing you want to do while salvation is near is to be led by a woman. Sitting up, got your hand out, and she's leading you the way to go, man. Hey, man, you lead that one, man. Put your damn foot down, man. Be a man. That's the thing, man. A lot of these men, they stop, they stop understanding what it is to be a man. Now it's a, hey, well, whatever my woman say, like the brother say, oh, my woman, she gon' she gonna kill me. I'm about to get in trouble, man. Hey, the, hey, the woman just came up and looked at this brother, man, and he understood that, hey, man, it's time for me to go. Damn. What kind of weak man is that, man? A woman look at you, and it's time for you to go. Hey, man, a woman look at me, she better keep looking. Because I'm going to stand right there, man. That's right. Until I say it's time to go. That's right. Don't let the woman damn lead you, man. But you letting these women lead you, man, they're going to lead to destruction, man, these last days. Uh, keep going. The night is far spent. Man, the night is far spent, man. Right? The night has it's been a long night. I've been long, a long night of battling. A long night of fighting the flesh, man. A long night with dealing, dealing with heathen. A long night of, of dealing with damn witchcraft. A long night of dealing with homosexuals, man. Right? A long night of dealing with these damn heathens, man. The night is far spent. Keep going. The day is at hand. The day is at hand, man. What day is we talking about? The day is at hand. You think it's a day, a day of full of rainbows, right? It's a beautiful day, right? You got them, you got flowers, flower petals falling from the sky. You got rainbows everywhere. You got everybody with smiles on their faces, right? That's not the day that's coming. We're going to talk about the day that's coming. Give me Zephaniah 1 and 14. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near. This is the day that we're talking about, not what we're talking about, what the Lord is talking about. The Lord is telling you the great day is near. That day is near. Let's, let's go into that day. Get it. It is near. And hasten greatly even the voice of the voice of the day of the Lord. Right. The mighty man shall cry their bitter. Hey Amen. Even the mightiest man is going to be crying during the time of the day of the Lord, man. That 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 government official, that president that you had trust in, that that damn slow Joe Biden, right? And hey, he's going to be crying, man. He gonna right. be crying, man. That damn general, right? That four-star general and five-star general. He's gonna be crying, man. Right? That man that say he a six be uh being there. Damn, Elon, Elon Musk. He gonna be crying that day, man. Right. Keep going. That that day is a day of wrath. Uh huh. A day of trouble and distress. Hey, man, a day of wrath. Right? When we talk about wrath, we talking about anger. The Lord's gonna come with anger and fury in that day, man. Right? A day of distress. A lot of people are going to be stressed, man. They don't let them believe it's going to be a lot of heart, heart attacks on that day, man. So many people are going to be astonished, right, at the coming of the Lord. Hey, they just going to seize up and damn die. Because they ain't going to take it, man. Keep going. A day of uh, wasteness. And uh -huh. It's a day of wastes, man. The Lord's gonna lay waste to all this, man. He gonna he gonna lay waste to them Cascade Park. He gonna lay waste to uh, uh, the damn uh, parks in damn Atlanta. He gonna lay waste to them the highway in Miami, the highway in Orlando. He gonna lay waste to your job. He gonna lay waste to your family. He gonna lay waste to Walmart, Target, and damn um wherever you wanna go, man. The Lord gonna lay waste to all these places, man. Keep going. And desolation and desolation, right? A day of darkness. And gloominess. It's nothing pretty about the day of the Lord. This is our day you got to sit here and say, I'm waiting on it. I'm just waiting, man. I'm just waiting on a day like this. No, man, ain't nothing good about this, man. A, a day of darkness, man, and gloominess, man. Right? People going to be in, they gonna be in sorrow, man. They going to be in their feelings in that day, man. Keep going. A day of clouds and thick darkness. And thick darkness, man. Right? On a, on a, on a, on a day, man, when the sun is out, Cause when the when the sun comes out, right, the sun brings light. But on a day where there's thick darkness, it looks like it's dark outside. Mm -hmm. So you gotta imagine a day where the, the clouds are so thick and so dark that it's like it's nighttime. Man. That's the day of the Lord. 
Keep going. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fit city. Why right? it's gonna be a trumpet is gonna be blown in those days, man. The trumpet of the Lord, when the, when the trumpet was blown in the in the days before, right? The days of old, it was a day of warning. Right? When you, when they blow the trumpet, they was warning our forefathers, our foremothers of what's to come. That it is danger ahead. Right? It's time to do this, it's time to do that. Well, that, that trumpet that's going to be blown that day is signifying the day of the Lord. It's signifying the destruction that's coming. All right, keep going. Okay. Wake them up. And against the high towers. Uh -huh. And that will bring distress. It said it's a fit against those fenced cities, right? So a fenced city is a, a, a city with a high defense, right? It has the high towers, right? It got the, the high watches where they got the uh, the people that's watching. And that's symbolic. That's also symbolic for these, these countries nowadays, like America, right? America the great, right? That's that top country, right? It has the greatest defense in the world, the greatest army. They got tanks. They got this. They got missiles. They got all that, man. Right. Right. But it's a law that's going to be sent out against these cities, man. Right. And it's a warning coming to you, 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 you places that think you can defend yourself against the Lord. Because no man and nobody, not one of you pieces of dirt, because that's all we are, nothing but dust and ashes, right? You're nothing but dirt, but you cannot defend yourself against the Lord. No man, no being upon this planet to ever think they can defend themselves against the um, Yahweh by Shemiah Go ahead. And that will bring distress upon men uh -huh. that they shall walk like blind men. They gonna walk like blind men. Man, it's gonna be so stressful, man. You gonna walk, you ain't know what the hell you doing. You gonna be confused, man. That's what's going on when a blind man is walking. He, he part of the time he confused. He don't know what the hell is going on. He don't know if he's walking to a wall. He don't know if he's walking straight. He don't know if he's walking in circles. You're going to be confused. You ain't going to know what to do. You ain't going to know how to defend your family. You ain't not going to take care of your wife, your kids. You're going to be confused in the Lord, man. You going? Because they have sinned against the Lord. Because we have sinned against the Lord. Right? We cannot forget. That. Give me that. Give me um Romans chapter. Um, I want to say. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Right, we cannot forget, right, our tab. A lot of the people, they forget the tab that we have, right? What is a tab? When you go to the store, right, when you go to the restaurant, you start eating a meal, right, you get the steak, right, you get the baked potatoes, right, you say pass me a cup of wine, but as you're eating this meal, you're occurring a tab. This tab is what you have to pay at the end of your meal. If you don't pay that end, if you don't pay that tab, it's consequences without paying that tab, right? So we gotta remember that sin, it's a tab that comes with um, sin, right? Keep bringing it up. This is the book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. Right? Bring it yeah. out. For the wages of sin is death. For the what? For the wages, wages of, of sin, sin is death. death. For the what? For, For the, the wages, wages of, of sin, sin is death. death. For the wages of sin is death. So by you going to hell off, doing what you want to do, or say what the law is done away with, hey man, you, you, you are creating or you are occurring a damn tab of death. You just, you just building a resume of death right now. And you got to pay that back. You got to pay your wages, man. Believe that that's in the law. You got to pay, you got to pay, man, his wages before the sun go down. And you want to pay your wages. When the day of the Lord comes, before the sun goes down, you're going to pay that wage. In the day of the Lord, before the sun goes down, you're going to pay that wage. And that's death. Death by destruction. Death by gnashing your teeth. Death by sorrow. Death by fire. Death by... Famine and hell and destruction, man. Now you bring to keep going on that thing. Because they have sinned against the Lord. Right. And the blood shall be poured out as dust. Hey, man, the blood is going to be poured out as dust upon the land, man. It's dust everywhere, man. You got people talking about, man, sniffing, kind of scratching their nose, talking about, man, my allergies acting up, man. Right. I got to take me some Allegra. Right. And that's how, gonna, that's how the blood going to be. The blood going to be everywhere, man. The smell of blood is going to be in the air, man. You're going to smell that thick, dead iron smell of blood in the air in the day of the Lord, man. Because that's how much death going to be going on, man. Keep going. And their flesh is dumb. And their flesh is dumb, man. Right? Their flesh going to be poured out as dumb, man. It's dumb it's everywhere, man. It's dumb in the air when you breathe it in, man. Them dumbs have dumb. But keep going, King. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in that day of the Lord. Hey, man, it don't matter. I think a lot of people say, man, hey, man, I'm just trying to get rich. I'm just trying to come up right now. I'm trying to get that bag. I'm trying to taste the bag. 
Hey man, you chasing a bag, you gonna get dumped, man. Lord don't give a damn about your bag. He don't give a damn if you got a million dollars. He don't give a damn if you got a, a, a damn a, a couple racks in your pocket. The Lord don't care nothing about none of that, man. You can't give the Lord gold and say, well, you can't bargain with the Lord with your money. You can't say, well, Lord, well, I know, I know this is time, right? Well, can I bargain with you? You're not gonna be able to bargain with the Lord. Well, I got this much gold. Lord don't give a damn about your gold. He care, he care about the fruit that you bear, right? He care about the spirit. He cares if he was keeping his commandments or not. That's what the Lord cares about. Not your monetary gain. Not who you are in this world. Because we're nothing. Keep going. Neither, neither, um, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. Right, but the whole land is going to be devoured by his jealousy, man. Right? For he shall... Hey, your brother. Hey, your brother. Hey, you got a couple minutes for the Lord, bro? Huh? Hey, yo, brother! You got a couple minutes for the Lord, yes or no, brother? You don't act like you, you don't know me? You can, just say yes or no, brother. Be a man, I'm talking to you, man to man. Yes or no, do you got a, do you got a couple... All right, just say that, bro. Just say that, bro. That's how I want to Man, that kills me, man. No, that's how I want to break. That's how I want to break. Right, man be trying to flex they stuff, man. Trying to puff themselves up, man. Right? Got it, got it. Got his arm around his woman like we give a damn. We don't care about the woman. We not out here for women, man. We not out here for vain glory. We out here for the Lord to do the will of the Lord. We nothing but service the Lord, man. And we try to tell you that you got to keep the commandments of the Lord. We try to tell you that the kingdom of heaven is hand. We try to tell you that you repent in these last days, man. We not here for father. We not here for vanity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the book of Amos chapter 5 and verse 18 right. yeah. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord Lord say woe unto you Death unto you Warning unto you And you try to say that you desire the day of the Lord man I don't care how many precepts you know I don't know how many breakdowns I don't care how many breakdowns you know Lord say woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord man this series business, man. This is not a game, man. We talking about day of the Lord. We not talking about this day like it's any other day that you're gonna see, man. Right. This is day of the Lord, man. Right? This is a day of death. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, praise him. Hey, man, this is a serious day of the Lord, man. This is not no game, man. This is not a day you say, well, oh, oh, the big, the Super Bowl is coming up. You can't compare this day to the Super Bowl. You can't compare this day to them NBA Finals, the last game that the damn Warriors about to play with the Celtics. You can't compare it to that, man. You can't compare it to the damn, to the day, to the damn, to the damn Olympics. You can't compare the damn Lord to any other day on this earth, man. It's a different day, man. It hit different. Keep going. To what end is it for you? So what end is it for you, man, that desire the day of the Lord? Keep going. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. That goes back to Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 14 on down, man. This day is a day of hard, it's a horrible, dark day, man. Keep going. As if a man did flee from a lion and they bear met him. It's like, man, you kind of, you see a lion behind you, you kind of do the swim move on the lion, right? And then that thing, you know, a big ass bear stand up like in your face, man. That's what the day of the Lord is like, man. There's nothing to play with right there. It's like, no matter where you turn on the day of the Lord, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be hard. Right, keep going. Or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall. You kind of went it, you got to go in the house, kind of lean your hand like this, all casual. And a bit, kind of catch your bill. Ooh, that was a close one. Right? That was close, but I almost escaped. And then a serpent biting on your hand, man. That's the day of the Lord. Damn, boy. Come. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Right? Even very dark and no brightness in it. Right? So, the, hey, the day of the Lord is going to be a very serious and uh, detrimental day, man. Right? But it's the thing, though. Though this day is coming, man, you can be saved from this day, man. Lord. You can have salvation in a time of uh in a time of affliction, man. Give me uh second Edges chapter two and verse. Not that, not that. So right, I read two and uh. Yeah, right now, two and eleven. This is uh uh slightly. This is Sirach chapter 2 and verse 11. Look it out. Yeah. 
For the Lord is full of compassion, right? The Lord, though we know this day is coming, though we know the day of death is coming, right? The day of destruction, the day of desolation. Hey, Lord still is full of compassion though. The Lord have compassion on his people, right? The Israelites, the Lord still is full of compassion. Keep going. And mercy, long suffering and- Right, so Lord have mercy and long suffering. Right, you can't, we can't forget that Lord is still dealing with us, man. Right? He have mercy on us. He said he have mercy on who he have mercy on. Us. Right? But we want to get in the Lord's grace. We want to get in, we want to get in good with the Lord. We want to have our face card good with the Lord. But how can we do such things but by keeping his commandments? Right? Keep going. And very slightly. And pitiful. And forgive of sins. Uh -huh. and he forgive of sins. Cause we need the time, we need the Lord to forgive our sins. Give me Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 20. We need the Lord to give, forgive our sins, right? To pardon us on our sins. This is, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 20. Bring it out. In those days and in that time, uh -huh. says the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for. Right, so the people, they gonna, they gonna, try, to, they gonna try to seek our, our iniquity. They gonna say, one of them, those, those wicked people that were transgressing the law of the Lord, keep going. And there shall be none in the sins of Judah. They, in the sins of what? Judah. And they shall not be found. So our sins are not going to be found in the day of the Lord. Keep going. For I will pardon them whom I reserve. Right. So the Lord said he's going to pardon those whom he reserved. The Lord is going to pardon those that remnant. The Lord is going to pardon the sins of the one third. Right. He's going to pardon the people that endured it to the end. He's going to pardon those people that, keep the, that kept the commandments. He's going to pardon those people that um that increased in the fear of the Lord, right? He's going to pardon them, right? 